brother has been killing brother since the beginning, and our world still hasn't learned to love instead of hate. Hutu killing Tutsi, China threatening Taiwan, Russia attacking Ukraine, Israel and Palestine, the unwelcomed refugee, the unwelcomed innocent unborn child. Let's explore the first such callous attitude in Genesis 4. What kind of attitude did the first child have? Does God want empty religious offerings or a changed heart? The man knew Eve his wife. She conceived and gave birth to Cain and said, I've begotten a man with Yahweh's help. Again, she gave birth to Cain's brother, Abel. Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. As time passed, Cain brought an offering to Yahweh from the fruit of the ground. Abel also brought some of the firstborn of his flock and of its fat. Yahweh respected Abel and his offering, but he didn't respect Cain and his offering. Cain was very angry, and the expression on his face fell. Why did God honor Abel's sacrifice? Was there something deeper than just an offering? Was righteousness by faith involved? By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and through it, he being dead, still speaks. Why did God have no respect for Cain's sacrifice? Does Isaiah teach us what God really wants? What should I think about all your sacrifices, says the Lord? I'm fed up with entirely burnt offerings of rams and the fat of well-fed beasts. I don't want the blood of bulls, lambs and goats. When you come to appear before me, who asked this from you? this trampling of my temple's courts. Stop bringing worthless offerings. Your incense repulses me. New moon, Sabbath, and the calling of an assembly. I can't stand wickedness with celebration. I hate your new moons and your festivals. They've become a burden that I'm tired of bearing. When you extend your hands, I'll hide my eyes from you. Even when you pray for a long time, I won't listen. Your hands are stained with blood. Wash, be clean. Remove your ugly deeds from my sight. Put an end to such evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Help the oppressed. Defend the orphan. Plea for the widow. Did God warn Cain? Did Cain choose to listen? Did his subsequent actions reveal what was in his heart? The Lord said to Cain, What's wrong with you? Why do you look so angry? If you'd done the right thing, you'd be smiling. But you did the wrong thing. And now sin's waiting to attack you like a lion. Sin wants to destroy you. But don't let it. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go for a walk. And when they were out in the field, Cain attacked and killed him. What did God say to Cain? What was his punishment? Was it the death penalty or was God merciful? Then the Lord said to Cain, where's Abel, your brother? He said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood's crying to me from the ground. And now you're cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. What was Cain's complaint? Did God hear him? What was the mark? A tattoo? A scar? Or something else? We don't know. But Cain answered the Lord, My punishment's too great to bear, since you're banishing me today from the soil and I must hide myself from your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord replied to him, In that case, whoever kills Cain 
will suffer vengeance seven times over. And he placed a mark on Cain, so that whoever found him would not kill him. Then Cain went out from the Lord's presence, and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Did God bless Cain with descendants? Who were some of the key people? Later, Cain had sexual relations with his wife. She became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain founded a city and named it after his son Enoch. Irad was born to Enoch. Irad fathered Mahujael, and Mahujael fathered Methushael, and Methushael fathered Lamech. Later, Lamech married two wives. One was named Ada, and the other was named Zillah. Who were some of Lamech's descendants? Who were some of the key people? And Ada bore Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all, such as handle the harp and organ. And Zillah, she also bore Tubalcane, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubalcane was Naamah. What did Lamech say to his wives? Did the family remember what their ancestor Cain had done? And Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, you wives of Lamech. Give ear to my word, for I have killed a man for striking me, and a boy for wounding me. If Cain's avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Did Adam and Eve have another son after Abel's death? What was a hallmark of his family line? Adam had relations with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son, and named him Seth, meaning put or set. For she said, God has appointed me another child, in place of Abel, because Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born and he named him Enosh, meaning mortal man. Then people began to call on the name of the Lord. Brother has been killing brother since the beginning, and our world still hasn't learned to love instead of hate. Does God want empty religious offerings or a changed heart? You decide.